turbine pump technology is, is nothing new. We just took an old concept and applied it to lift stations. General irrigation and dewatering has been in the water moving business for 50 years, and they think they've come up with a better pump. The technology that we're using is line shaft turbine technology, and we've applied it to the Dynaflow lift pump. Um, the advantages of that are the electric motor stays above the water. Being above ground means easier access for maintenance. It has a one and a half inch steel line shaft. That makes it more rigid so there's less vibration. And that means longer life for the pump. And it can handle solids up to an inch in diameter. And because of the, the lower speed, the pump is gonna last longer. The motor actually runs cooler and pulls less amps than a submersible motor. And therefore it would be cheaper to operate and we know from history that a line shaft turbine will outlast a submersible three to one. They last longer, they run cheaper, they have the ability to handle more solids. We can push water 2,000, 3,000 feet, we're pushing the water and lifting it 30 feet. And most submersible pumps won't do that. This is an eight inch pump. They also have a 12 inch pump that will move 1,500 gallons a minute, pushing the water 3,400 feet. This particular pump behind me will put out 800 gallons a minute and still do what it's supposed to do here. It's supposed to push the water across the road. Like the Dynaflow portable pump we showed you last spring, the lift pump is designed by Rosendahl and built in their shop in Oaks. They do the job, they do it well, they operate efficiently, and they're low maintenance. In Oaks, this is Rose Dunn for Ag Week.